Okay, hey guys. So, um, first of all, glasses, sorry. Second of all, I'm doing a new angle. Um, if you're wondering where I'm looking at, I'm looking at the center of the iPad, but for some reason it's picking it up as if I'm looking like over here. So <laughs> anyways, today's, uh, today's a review video, but these are on things I already unboxed long ago. I just never touched them. So I have two more, two or three more sim videos coming up where I create sims and then two book videos i'm doing the first video now but i have two more after this it's gonna be back to back recordings so that's why i'm probably gonna end up wearing the same clothes um anyways shall we get started <laughs> okay so each um for today's video i'm doing five reviews on five books and then more another five and then another five um so my I, I grabbed books that I had purchased before that I've never touched or read yet. And we're just going to review them and see why I purchased them. So all these books are coming from Book Outlet, which I'm not, no sponsor. But um, anyways, let's start with the first book. I picked up Nancy Drew, Drew Files, Volume 1. It's a series. Most of these are series. Um, I picked this because everybody's making a big deal of Nancy Drew. And one of my friends long ago in middle school was... Uh, reading a book kind of like Nancy Drew but it was different and so I was like you know what let's get it when I saw the cover by the way this is the cover that I wanted when I saw the cover I thought it was gonna be a comic but it, it's not it's 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 a book <laughs> it's like a novel book um I haven't read the book simply because I just I haven't I've been busy like I I haven't had time but there's a lot there's a lot of books from the author, and this author looks cool just to begin with, so it's definitely something I'm going to read. Um, it's apparently volume one, it's like three cases in one book, which is why it's so thick. So it's Secrets Can Kill, Deadly Intent, and Murder on Ice. This sounds really interesting, I just wish I'd picked it up earlier. But yeah, um, how many pages is it? 408 and what i like about this book is uh it's all the way all the way till the end this is the last last page so i like it because it doesn't have one of those preview the next book so the next book i have is the swap um I, okay, so I'm going to tell you about this. Um, I don't have much to say about the Nancy Drew, but for the rest of the books, I have. So the reason I actually got this book was because um, they get swapped places, I think. And I like those types of things. Um, being someone else, those type of books and novels are really good. And that's <laughs> why I actually like this book. Um, I like it because it's it's something that I like, and I keep saying um, I don't know why, I try to edit that as much as possible. But what I like about the book is that each chapter, as you can see, it's long, but it either says uh, Ellie or it says the other boy's name, which I cannot find, and I'm just... Oh, by the way, this is what the book looks like without the cover. I thought this was the cutest thing ever. I love it. I don't know. It just gives me really cute vibes and I would honestly get this book without the cover if I wanted to. There's this little thing going on where I saw on TikTok where um, when you take a book, you take off the hard cover the, or the plastic cover just so you have the hard cover part of it. Anyways, this, um, the Meg Cabot actually, um, uh, she reviewed it, uh, which is really nice. That's actually how I found it. This book is for t ages 10 and up. I'm having trouble holding this book. Oh my god. But I do, I like these type of book. Oh, here's the name. Ellie and Jack. So it pretty much says, Ellie spends the summer before 7th grade getting dropped by her best friend since forever. Typical. <laughs> Jack spends it training in the cage with his tough as nail brothers and hard to please dad. Yeah. I, I see that happening. 
By the time middle school starts, they're both ready for change. Just as Jack's thinking girls have it so easy, Ellie wishes she could have been anyone but herself. That's where I actually was like, oh my god, I gotta get this book. Then bam, they swap lives and bodies. Now Jack's fending off Maine's girls at sleepover parties while Ellie regains as the Prince of Thatcher Middle School. As their crazy weekend races on and their feelings for each other grow, Ellie and Jack begin to wonder if maybe the best way to learn how to be yourself is to spend a little time being someone else. And actually, I'm going to be really honest, I've always wanted to do something like that. I swap lives with someone for a week or something, live with their parents while they live with mine. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's so fun. But yeah, the swap. I liked it. Um, for the Nancy Drew book, I didn't give a description because it's obvious what Nancy Drew is. Um, a book outlet, um, by the way, is, um, it's like cheap books. So it won't have books like Twilight, but it'll have some books of Harry Potter. Sometimes it'll have book two of a series and not book one, but it's pretty, like, authors know, authors know about it. Uh, authors give consent, I think, before they send it to book outlet. It's just cheaper books. Um, these books were all like a dollar to two dollars when they're like seven dollars. So Maddie Ziegler, Maddie Ziegler, the audition. I haven't touched this book. I haven't touched any of these books. But um, the reason I got this book was because it reminded me of elementary and middle school. Does anyone remember the colors of the old books where it looks like a scholastic? I think this is scholastic. Scholastic? Anyways, I love the color of the book, the pages. It reminds me of an old book I used to read, and I just loved it. Um, I picked this book off because I'm actually trying to get a lot of YouTuber books and famous people books. I just liked it, and uh, I'm not sure if this... No, so this is just a novel. It's not about her, but I like getting books from YouTubers, and yeah, there's not much to say about this. Um, it's a series. Most of these are series. I don't think the swap is from the series, but I don't think swap. Okay, so this is from Erin Hunter. This is Brave Lens. I love Warrior Cats so much. It's what made me start reading. I can read books one through six of, or is it one through six or one through five? Whatever. I can read a whole book set in a, in a week. Like that's how much I love it. But I decided to get Brave Lens because I like the way the author writes and I just, love the whole animal clan thing this is what the book cover looks like it's simple red and gold and i think that's actually really cute i actually like how it feels um so this one's about a lion who's cast out from his bride um and the difference is it's kind of like warrior cats clans but this one is kind of like a get along think of it like uh what's uh, Jungle Book, Lion cast from his pride, an elephant who can read the bones of the dead, and a baboon who can rebel against his destiny. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> so I liked it, and I was like, you know what, I like the author. I like all these type of books, so yeah. So this video is actually really short, um, but we have one more book. <laughs> and I... <laughs> I don't know if I regret getting this book or not, but um, I've always wanted to read this series. Actually, I actually like, if you guys can see, you guys can see the rest of the books. It works like that, which I think, I like these type of books that do that, that it kind of matches, but doesn't match. Um, but anyways, I decided to get uh, Pretty Little Lies um, because there's a series, and I want to actually watch this series, I just never had time to do anything. I watch a lot of crime shows, so, <laughs> anyways, I wanted to get the book because I like, like, if there's a series or a movie or something, I'd like to get the book before I get or watch the movie. So, I was like, you know what, let's do this before we watch. I like to know what's happening because, actually, when I was small, this series came out. And I think I was like in like elementary when this came out. Orange is a New Black came out when I was in elementary. I th they always talked about it. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I did watch Orange is New Black, but um, this book, I just needed to get it. I was like, you know what? If I can't watch the series now, then it's like, 
whatever. Anyways, I'm, I'm not the type of person that would read a book from a TV show at that time. Uh, simply because when I actually watched, tried watching a TV show, I wasn't interested at all. But um, if anyone knows what episode is, it's a really good game app. And um, I may or may not have downloaded a story that's based on Pretty Little Liars. And I got interested. So I had to get this book. So these are the books. That's the whole list. Um, I'm going to go and read each one. We already read the swap, but... So everyone knows what Nancy Drew is. Um, would I read this book? Maybe not yet. Um, I feel like this is a book, like I usually read like small books before I go into the big books. Now I could read this book. I could read it if I wanted to. I could read that book, um, It. Um, but I, I like those type of books. They're like really big, really thick. Um, but I just haven't simply because I've been in reader's block for a while, which is why I wanted to make this video also to address that, uh, reader's block is not fun at all. It's boring. It's not fun. It's terrible. I haven't been able to get into a book except the Worry Cat series, which I just keep on rereading. Um, would I get into this book? I definitely would, but once again, it's just a little bit too thick for me at the moment, and I definitely would lose interest in my reader's blog, and I just don't want that to happen. But I do like how it's written, and I may, who knows, I may read it. <laughs> for the audition, I feel like this is a book I could read now if I wanted to, just because it's pretty short, and this is something that you can get really quick on. Um, I can read... A Warrior Cat's book is like almost around this length, maybe a little more, but I could read this in a day. That's I, I like uh, short books like this. It's like just simple. Um, I probably would read this in a day. I probably would read this first out of this stack um, simply because I like Warrior Cats and I'm already used to the author's writing that I just would read this book first. Now, the reason I actually got this book wasn't because of just the plot. Um, when I first got it, I was like, I don't know about the plot. I just got it because of the author. But then I looked at the plot and I was like, oh, this actually seems interesting. So this is probably the first book I would read. I probably would read this first as well or second simply because it is short, but it would probably lead to one of the other books. For example, I could probably end up reading this book and then this book because if you could see their length, the Maddie Ziegler book is shorter than this book. And I feel like I would read it like this, 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 oh, <laughs> this, and then Nancy Drew. But I have learned to wean off that style where it's short books and then longer books simply because that's not a good, that's actually what got me into writer's block and reader's block and everything. I've always got myself to do the short stuff first before the long stuff. And it's just not fun because you don't have much variety and then you're forced to pick like a, a small book that you don't like. So that is actually it um, for my first five book reviews and I actually get my glasses this time I hope it didn't annoy anyone let me know in the comments below if it annoyed anyone and I will try to take them off or do a different angle oh and that is my birdcage back there <laughs> don't worry about it it is pretty big I only have two birds but we don't know we know one is male but we don't know if the other one is female anyways that's all I have for you today and I'm gonna go record the rest of the books and another video and I'll see you guys later.